Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sheila and if you are new, welcome. And if you are a subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing. For today's video, I am going to be showing you the inside of my little budget binder. I did talk about this in my last video, um, in the what's in my purse slash work bag video. And I talked about how I carry this thing everywhere I go. Um, I like to make sure that I have it with me at all times. Um, so this is what I use to keep track of my budget, my expenses. I do have a calendar in here and it has made my life a little bit more simple. I was using like a regular planner. This is the happy planner and I love this thing, but it was just getting too big and kind of heavy to just bring it with me at all times. So I decided to switch it up to something a little bit more smaller, more convenient. I did have um, a binder. Um, so this is my little mini coupon binder that I made. I do have a video on this if you want to check it out. Um, so yeah, so I already had this one um, for a while now. As you can see, it, it's like been used and loved and it's coming apart. So I knew that this size was like the perfect size to like carry with me. So when I was looking for another one of these, I got this at Michael's. So I went to Michael's, didn't find any, um, looked online, they, didn't, they weren't selling any online. Um, and so um, I did see that at Hobby Lobby, they had um, similar binders. So I decided to go to Hobby Lobby in person because I had already, um, ordered something similar to this on Amazon and to be honest, it was a little bit smaller and a little bit like thinner So I decided to go to Hobby Lobby to make sure it was like the same size as my coupon binder And it was so they only had like two selections They had this one and a white one with like a floral pattern And I decided to go with this one just because I was scared that the white one was gonna get like dirty or a little bit more like I don't know messed up so I just went with this black one and um, this is what I have been using and it's very convenient because it, this fits in most of my purses and it just helps me keep track of like life and the, you know, my bills and house stuff and things like that. So yeah, I'm gonna be showing you like the inside and, and how I set it up. Um, I am a Dave Ramsey follower, so I do do the envelope system, um, but I don't carry cash. That's like the only difference. A lot of people use the envelope system to keep their cash in. I don't do that. I have separate bank accounts, so that way um, my money is easier to track and I feel like I have a little bit more protection as far as like my something hot, like I won't lose the cash, you know? So I just, um, I have separate like bank accounts for like each of my categories. And, um, also that is very helpful towards, um, keeping track. Like let's say you lose a receipt, you can always check your bank statement. Um, and you will see why I like to write things down. I am a pen and paper type of gal. I've had tried doing it like digital and it's just not for me. So that's why I like this little system because I can write everything down. And yeah, it's just been so helpful. So um, yeah, let's get started with this video and show you how I have it set up. Okay, you guys, so this is what the inside looks like starting off with my little envelopes. Um, I made these envelopes um, using the cover of some Dollar Tree photo albums um, that I had gotten that um, I had used to create my coupon binder. If you see that video, you can kind of see how I used the photo album. But anyways, these are the covers, the front, um, this is the back. These are a little bit of um, a thicker plastic. So that's why I decided to just make my own envelopes. I just punched holes in them. I did use these um, sheets of paper that I got on Amazon. I do believe these are for like a personal size ba uh, binder. They fit perfectly in here, except I did cut the holes um, and then just cut up like four lines up, cut the bottom so that way they could fit in my little envelope. I do keep any like miscellaneous receipts or things like this in this pocket. Um, this binder does have like pockets where you can insert some other stuff if you want to. Um, but yeah, this is how I set up and an example of how I write things down is this is last month's, um, 
uh, expenses that I made. Um, so this is like my grocery category from last month. And as you can see, I just write down like the store, the amount and my balance. I did um, put an $800 um, budget for groceries and this is how much I actually spent. So yeah, as you can see, I went a little bit over budget, but groceries are so expensive right now that um, I'm trying to stick to like a $200 budget, but it kind of seems impossible at times. Um, I did have to buy like paper towels um, and some cleaning stuff. So that's why I spent a little bit more on Sam's this month. But yeah, that is kind of like an example um, of like how I put my expenses. So I have groceries, restaurant, entertainment, personal, miscellaneous, gas, um, Kodak, that's our dog. So for the next section, I do have a divider. I got these either on Amazon or Etsy. Um, I believe these are also for like a personal size binder. Um, so the next section is actually the account that I um, keep the money for my bills. And that's like the main account um, where our deposits go in. And then from there, once the deposit hits, I transfer the money to my other accounts. But I did cover this section because I did um, pay a bill that has like the city where we live. So I already paid the water bill. Um, so that's written down there. And this is where I keep the balance. Um, so yeah, my husband is self-employed. So we do have to take the taxes out um, each paycheck for his stuff. So yeah, we do have a separate account for that one. For the next one is our bills. Um, this is where I write down all our bills. And these are the sheets that I use. I also got these on Amazon. Um, and these are kind of like a check balance um, sheets. And I think these were like $8, $10. Anyways, they weren't that expensive, um, but yeah, this is the sheets that I used and my paper slip, hold on. The reason why I'm covering it is because I do have the name of the city where I live, you know, right there where I already paid it. <laughs> That's the only reason why I'm hiding it is because I wrote the city down. Um, but yeah, this is my bills um, budget um, sheets in this section and then in the next section um we are working towards paying off our mortgage so this is where i did a little drawing myself isn't it beautiful i'm just kidding this is where i drew like the little house and then um each balance that we pay off and hopefully we'll be here soon one day but yeah and then i have just extra sheets of paper um, in case I want to do my grocery list or anything that I want to write down. And yeah, those are my um, sections. And then the last thing that I have is my um, calendar. So this is also from the Happy Planner. This is a mini um, calendar. And what I did is I had to split it up. So I did the first six months. And now, since we are at the end of the year, I only have the last um, months, um, starting from June. So, because you can, you know, um, take these off, it was really easy to just, you know, pull it apart basically and just keep half of the month so that way your binder is able to close and you have um, plenty of space. And I just keep it tucked in the rings like this. So when I want to close it, everything fits just perfect. Like everything just fits perfect. It closes perfect. And um, yeah, you can take this out and just plan your days or plan your calendar. Um, so this is an example. I'm going to show you last month. And I'm going to show you July because um, I already filled up June. But basically, I just like put down like the bills, uh, I think I put the name of our city, the bill down there again. I'm sorry about that. But this is where I put like the bills. Um, if I have to go to work in on early, I will write it down like this day, Tuesday, I went to, I had to go to work earlier. So I do make sure that I write down um, any days that are my, if like my hours change, I have to write it down to remind myself. And I do check my calendar daily. 
Um, so this is where I write down any school stuff, bills, doctor's appointments, everything. I just do it in this little um, section. And then for, I'm gonna give you an example of like how I do the inside. So this is an example of how I fill in my daily um, list because this one does have um, the sections, um, the three, sections and the reason why i like this one was because of this so this is an example of my weekly layout so i do keep my workout section here i just write the days of the week and just check it off if i did work out that day also i'm trying to drink more water so i also put the days of the week and um, i'm trying to drink at least two to three bottles a day for me that's a lot because i'm just not used to drinking water i know it's bad but the top section I do use to write like anything like um, either business related or work or like balance budget, call this doctor, make an appointment, things like that. This uh, section right here is my house things um, to do like wash like clothes, Bryson's room that uh, I was going to organize and clean, the kitchen. Um, you know things that i have to do here at the house like mainly like cleaning laundry stuff and then the bottom section is um school things anything school related sports related will go in this box um so that way i keep all the stuff separate like this is cleaning to do this is school um kid stuff and then this is like my their business or like doctor's appointments or just um things like that. I try to keep each section separated. And um, yeah, and then Sundays, usually I don't do much Sundays because that is like my day off. But yeah, that is how I always keep this little calendar with me. That way when my supervisor asks, hey, can you come early this day? I can just go to my locker, get my little planner out and then check my calendar. Or um, recently I went to the orthodontist and I have three appointments that are coming up because I'm almost done with my Invisalign. Yay, so exciting. Um, so um, I had to make like a couple of appointments like back to back. So it was really quick and easy just to grab my calendar and check. I like using pen and paper. Um, I was doing like digital planning, but that's not for me. So I'm a paper and pen kind of gal. That's why I write everything down. And yeah, I have to fill some of these categories because I already did some spending, um, but because I have like separate um, debit cards for each category, it's easy for me just to check the bank statement and then write it down. Um, it's better for me to write it down because that way I can add up everything and see like the difference of how much money I can still spend or if I'm starting to overspend. And so, yeah, that is my little life, um, I guess, uh, planner, my, um, little binder that keeps my life organized. So that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you enjoyed these types of videos, don't forget to subscribe down below and hopefully I will see you in my next one. Bye.